Yeah. Um, I don't know if you've seen it or heard about it. I actually haven't. Uh, <laughs> so. Uh, what is the kid? But yeah, if, if that dude can beat cancer, we can definitely beat Wisconsin. Um, I agree with that statement. Um, <laughs> so that's about as far as I know on that. What's the resolve of this team based on what happened to you guys in the Big Ten Championship? Championship game last year it was easy for me to say. Uh, it's better how much last did you yearn, Big East last week? How much time. did you yearn to get exactly? How much did you yearn to get back there? And what does it mean going into this one, if anything? It means a lot. Um, you know, that's kind of the goal at the beginning of the season was you know compete for championships in November is kind of what we always say. And uh, you know, obviously it's December now, but you know we're competing for a championship. And uh, you know that's kind of what we set our sights at in the beginning of the season, and we're here. And you know I don't think anyone. You know, thought this is how we were going to get there, and all the things that we've, you know, encountered along the way. It's been a you know wild ride, but we're there, and you know we're doing everything we can to prepare. And you know, we still got that bad taste in our mouth from last year in that in that stadium, and we haven't been back since. And you know, so we'll, we're coming in with a chip on our shoulder. Chip, is it, has this week tested the leadership of this team, or has the team come even more together based on what's happened with, obviously with JT, but also with Costa, Costa? Um, I think a little bit of both. Uh, you know, I think it's kind of all brought us together and, you know, kind of all just, you know, put our shields up and let's go, you know, we'll go wherever. And I think it's also, you know, tested the leaders, the older guys, uh, you know, especially on offense with, a, uh, you know, a quarterback that doesn't have a whole lot of experience back there playing. Um, you know, I think the older guys on offense, you know, myself, Evan, Devin, um, you, know, you know, Taylor Decker, you know, on the line and a lot of that, you know, it's really been on our shoulders, you know, step up our game and, you know, bring him up. So uh, we've been working on that all week also. What, what have you seen like, from him this week? Yeah. He's a, <laughs> is that what you were thinking yeah. too? <laughs> um, yeah, he's, he's had a good week of practice. Uh, you know, Tuesday, Wednesday was good. Um, you know, getting the timing down with the receivers, uh, you know, I think it's, you know, the most important thing. And, you know, we've, you know, worked on that a little extra this week and uh, we're just getting ready to go. You know, I don't have any doubts that he's going to be, you know, fully mentally prepared for this game. Uh, you know, I know our coaches and I know how they grind, to, you know, and he's going to know everything he needs to know and uh, they're going to put him in the best situation to su succeed. And, you know, it'll be fun to watch. So. Are you wearing 5, 16 or 86 <coughs> on Saturday night? I haven't even decided yet, actually. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'll, I'll wear five again on, uh, you know, so. Jeff, Jeff you've seen a couple more questions. Wisconsin's defense, you've studied them. What makes them so effective? Um, you know, they don't really do a whole lot of different things. They're just really good at what they do. Um, you know, they play just a few different types of defense, which, you know, is tough to figure out what they're playing, but, you know, they're, they're gap sound. And, you know, they got a lot of good players on that team, you know, have a knack for the football. And, you know, we've experienced that in, your, you know, that in years past, obviously, blocking uh, Borland last year, or the last two years, actually. And, you know, he was obviously an outstanding football player. And so, you know, that's just kind of how those guys are. You know, they got a knack for the football. You know, they're not real big, heavy guys or anything, but, you know, they get to the football and make plays. So, Jeff, what kind of pass does Cardell throw? Does he throw a different ball at all than JT or Braxton did? Um, yeah, he, th you know, he, th he throws a little bit more like Braxton, I would say, than he does JT. Um, you know, throws it, you know, he's got a huge arm. You will mm -hmm. tell that, you know, just watching practice or watching warm ups, you know, he can, he can sling that thing. And uh, so, you know, he's got a big arm and, you know, he makes plays with it. And, you know, with his feet, obviously, he's 260 pounds. And uh, so, you know, that's a big threat as well, as, you know, his feet and being able to run and uh, do things like that. So Everyone, talk, everyone talks about how big his arm is. Is that anything different for a receiver to catch, catch a ball from him then or not really? Um, I think that's kind of what I just, you know, some of the timing stuff we've worked on this timing, week. timing, is yeah. that? Okay. Just, um, just, it's just, you know, a different feel. It takes you a day or two, you know, to okay. usually adapt to it and, you know, Later on in the practice day, we you know we finished real strong in the team period with him uh, throwing the ball and you know throwing it on time with our receivers and our receivers making catches. So uh, I think we I think we've gotten that worked out pretty well. So has he tamed that arm? Because you know we saw we saw practices in the past where he's throwing a crossing route and it hits the back wall back there. You, right. know? you know what I'm saying? I mean, <laughs> right. where how far has he come along as a passer just from your vantage point? Yeah, you know he's come a long, a long way. Um, you got to think you know he was a starting quarterback all of spring. And then he was a starter going into you know camp for the yeah. most part, uh, you know with Braxton out taking limited reps until you know JT came in, and uh, so you know he's taken a lot of first team reps, and it's not like you know these these guys have never caught balls from him, you know they caught balls from him all year long or all spring long, and you know even in the camp in the off season, you know he was kind of the, he was kind of the starter, you know even yeah. throwing in you know summer throwing out there and on our off days and stuff he was you know he was a starting quarterback throwing, so uh, these you know we've caught balls from him and uh, you know we feel really confident with him back there, so.
So yeah. we're getting the same guarantee you pretty much gave when JT Barrett took over? We're getting that same <laughs> sort of... I mean, I don't want to jinx Harman's myself this time, but uh, I told you about JT. <laughs> I, we were right, right over there, were we? Yeah, Remember? yeah right over there. Yeah, yeah so... All right, guys. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. Appreciate you guys. Yeah. Have a good one. A little deja vu. Right.